Hello students, this is Miss Momita from Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Welcome you all to online teaching 2020 to 2021. Today we are going to study 8th standard 2nd chapter health and diseases. Students, as you all are familiar with the well-known proverb, health is wealth, it actually means that health is the greatest asset for human beings and as such, it is not worth living without good health. Now, let us understand the relation between health and disease. In the past, health has been thought of just the absence of disease. However, today it is the thought of more as state of physical and mental well-being. A disease is a disorder that affects health by affecting an organism's body, organs, tissues or cells. From this, we understand that health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-beingness and not merely the absence of any disease. What is a disease? Condition of disturbances in physiological or psychological processes of body is called a disease. You must have heard names of various diseases. Reasons and symptoms of these diseases are different. Now, to bring a coordination in scientific study of diseases, diseases are classified as follows. Firstly, diseases are classified according to duration and according to reasons. According to duration, diseases are classified into chronic diseases and acute diseases. Chronic diseases are the diseases which last for a longer span of time and acute diseases are the diseases which last for a shorter span of time. According to reasons, diseases are classified into hereditary diseases and acquired diseases. Hereditary diseases are generally the diseases which pass on from generation to generation. Acquired diseases are again classified into infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Example of hereditary disease is Down syndrome and diabetes. Infectious diseases examples can be common cold, flu, dengue and non-infectious diseases can be diabetes, heart diseases. Now, elaborately, we are going to understand about infectious and non-infectious diseases. Diseases which occur through infections and body contacts are infectious diseases. Diseases which do not occur through infections and body contacts are non-infectious diseases. Now, to get a clear idea of this infectious diseases, the pathogen, the mode of infection, symptoms and prevention and treatment. Let us just um, go through this chart. The first disease here is taken as tuberculosis where the pathogen is Mycobacterium tuberculae. The mode of infection is spitting by patient through the air, prolonged contact with sharing of materials of the patient. Symptoms can be chronic cough, bloody spitting, emaciation and difficult breathing. Prevention and treatment can be besiege vaccination, isolation of the patient, regular medication like DOT. Now, what is the meaning of the term pathogen? Pathogen is a microorganism that can cause disease. In similar man manner, you can see the other diseases also. For example, like hepatitis, dysentery, cholera, typhoid, where you can see the different pathogens like hepatitis virus A, B, C, D, E. The bacteria, virus, vibrio, cholero, and typhoid is salmonella, typhi. 
Similarly, the mode of infection in all these diseases majorly is contaminated water and contaminated food and blood transfusion also and the symptoms are generally watery stool pains in the abdomen anorexia ure, yellow urine weakness vomiting gray stool diarrhea cramps in the legs prevention and treatment for all these diseases like hepatitis dysentery cholera and typhoid are different in the case of hepatitis drinking boiled water and proper cleaning of hands in case of dysentery it is drinking of boiled water proper store storage of food or is consumption in case of cholera following hygienic practices avoiding open place food drinking boiled water vaccination against cholera and in case of typhoid it is drinking clean water vaccination proper disposal of sewage now we are going to study about some infectious diseases the first infectious disease we are going to study is dengue different species of mosquitoes spread different diseases this mosquitoes generally lay eggs in water logged areas giving rise to increase in their population so dengue is also spread by a species of mosquito that is aedes aegypti and the symptoms of dengue are acute fever headache vomiting pain in the eye socket decrease in the platelet count that may lead to internal hemorrhage next we are going to study about swine flu in case of swine flu viruses of the swine flu are spread through sweat of the infected person secretions of nose throat and saliva swine flu the infection occurs through pigs and humans and the symptoms are difficulty in breathing sore throat and body pains next we are going to study about rabies rabies is a viral disease and this rabies occurs due to the bite of infected dog rabbit monkey cat etc the symptoms of rabies is hydrophobia fever is going to be there for 2 to 12 weeks and exaggeration in behavior now what is the meaning of hydrophobia in this condition of hydrophobia patient shows extreme fear for water this rabies is also a fatal disease and this fatality can be prevented by timely vaccination before the onset of symptoms now we are going to study about some non infectious diseases the first disease we are going to study about is diabetes diseases arise in human body due to certain reasons in case of non infectious diseases and in case of diabetes insulin produced in the pancreas controls the level of sugar glucose in blood if insulin is secreted in low quantity glucose level cannot be controlled and this disorder is called as diabetes reasons for diabetes heredity obesity lack of exercise mental stress symptoms of diabetes frequent urination at night increased obesity or weight loss next non infectious disease we are going to study about are the heart diseases efficiency of the heart decreases due to decreased blood supply and thereby oxygen and nutrient to the heart muscles due to this heart has to perform more work which leads to stress on it and this may cause a heart attack if anyone has a heart attack immediate consultation of doctor and treatment is necessary reasons for the heart diseases are smoking alcoholism diabetes hypertension heredity anger and anxiety 
Symptoms for heart diseases are severe chest pain, pain in the shoulder, neck and arms, uneasiness and tremors. Now we are going to study about the misuse of medicines. Some people take medicines without prescription of doctor and overdose of medicine can affect our body. Overdose of antibiotics may lead to nausea, stomachache, dysentery, rash, white patches on tongue. So from this we can understand that medicines has to be taken under the supervision of the doctor. Now we are going to study about generic medicines. Generic medicines are also known as general medicines. These are manufactured and distributed without any patent. Patent means obstruction. These medicines are at par in quality with the branded medicines and the production cost of these medicines are low due to the fewer expenses on research as their formula is readily available. Lastly, we are going to study about the lifestyle and diseases and vaccination. Lifestyle includes daily routine and type of food, irregular habits, lack of exercise, consumption of junk food have been increased and due to this people are getting sick every now and then. If the frequency of becoming sick is to be lowered, people should follow a right lifestyle which must include sufficient sleep, right food and physical exercise. Vaccination is important to prevent infectious diseases and this vaccination should be given at the right age so that the diseases can be prevented as we all know that prevention is better than cure. Thank you.